is that you know i joined this company as a data entry operator okay so from data entry operator to becoming the ceo of the organization right so also you know if you can take care of our plans and i believe that you can take care of anybody <laughs> yeah the big idea is wo sabse acche ideas na aapko kabarstan mein milenge really bande ne failure nahi dekha na i feel afraid of that because he have not seen failure he have always seen success that imagine the day he will see failure what will happen to him you must have heard a lot of time saying in an organization that their teams are their family बट क्या कभी किसी टीम मेंबर को ये कहते हुए सुना है दैट देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज देयर फैमिली टुडे वी हैव समवन हु नॉट जस्ट दैट दैट बट आल्सो प्रूव्ड इट हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ बी पॉडकास्ट इन दिस एपिसोड वी हैव मिस्टर संदीप छेत्री अ पर्सन हु स्टार्टेड हिज करियर एज अ डेटा एंट्री ऑपरेटर इन ट्रेड इंडिया एंड नाउ ही इज द सी ऑफ ट्रेड इंडिया In this episode you will know much more about the e-com industry and the MSME. So let's get started. Hi and welcome Mr. Sandeep to Be Podcast. Thanks Amavi. Uh, thanks for inviting me in this uh, podcast and it's my opportunity, you know, uh, to be part of this podcast. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So how is like your complete everything is going on your trips your uh, office works and everything so it's all going good uh, i know uh, i try to keep balance between work personal life family life and uh, my life also you know i always believe yeah. that i try to invest on myself first you know so it's all going good you know yeah so before we talk about the industry let's talk about you so as you said that you give time to yourself yeah. as well right so how do you manage your work life and your personal life so um to start with you know i'll just start with my grandfather specifically you know um he was in british army and you uh, always used to tell me one thing sandeep uh, in life just take care of three things okay one is respect people okay second is discipline third is he always used to tell me that don't take a shortcut always take long cut okay so when it comes to discipline you know that's what i've learned from him you know is how you take care of your health first you know so whether you get up early uh, do your exercise take care of health have good food have food in time take good sleep uh, but what i've learned also this you know because in this uh, mechanical world today we are off to our work right we are so busy these days we don't have time for ourselves okay and this uh, a big learning a relation which i've learned specifically during pandemic okay uh, where people used to work for 18 hours 19 hours or you know has to you know because they are the liberty to have food on you know at different times and so forth okay so it somehow you know gave me that more one more of opportunity for me to how i can become so disciplined in life right how to manage your time correctly you know and that held me in fact today uh, i keep my balance between work and life okay so however do you know for me my team knows that before 9:30 i'll not take the calls i'll not check emails nothing okay after 7 no matter what if they will call me or that they will email me they know that i am not going to entertain at all that is the first discipline which i have made from so before 9:30 it's my time after, after 7, 7 it's my time <laughs> amazing <laughs> as simple as that that's really good <laughs> क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं टाइम मैनेज करना एंड गिविंग टाइम टू योर सेल्फ इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि अगर आज आप टाइम नहीं दोगे तो यू विल नॉट फील रिचार्ज एंड यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू वर्क टू मोरो द सेम एनर्जी यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू की फॉर द लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम राइट इन फैक्ट आई गिव वन मोर एनर्जी इफ यू सी वी ड्राइव काज राइट सो इंजिन को बंद करना पड़ता है ना यू हैव टू इट्स सिमिलर लाइक ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑल्सो राइट सो यू हैव टू यू नो शट डाउन यर इंजिन हाउ टू शट डाउन यर इंजिन यू हैव टू स्टॉप समवेयर राइट यू हैव टू स्लीप यू कैप टेक केयर हेल्थ एंड देन यू हैव टू स्लीप ऑन टाइम दैट इज लाइक यू नो गिविंग क्लोजिंग अर इंजिन फॉर सम टाइम एंड टेक गिविंग देम अर रेस्ट सो दैट यू कम टू मोरो मॉर्निंग नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग विद अ रियली रिचार्ज यू नो विथ मोर क्रिएटिव थॉट प्रोसेस वैन एंड सो सो आई मीन दैट इज द रियलिटी विच यू नो इज विच हैव लर्न इन फैक्ट यू नो एंड that skips me uh, you know also think towards what has to be achieved you know next day yeah. true yeah. and what are the things we should do to keep yourself fit the oh. most important question 
<laughs> so, uh, see, I have a very, uh, very, very, you know, defined routine. I, I ensure that I get up early morning, you know, I am a very uh, early riser, you know, specifically at six o'clock, I'm, uh, you know, I'm out of bed. Mm, and then I do my yoga. Okay. After yoga, um, I have my breakfast on time. Okay. And I try to also when I, whenever I'm in office, okay, I try to walk a lot. You know, come out of my cabin, go uh, all the different desks, talk to my team. Okay, it's not that just sitting in the cabin. Okay, and evening I ensure that once I reach home, I, that I have a I mean 40, 45 minutes. I do my exercise or walk. Okay, Saturday and Sunday is like a booster for me. I ensure that you know on Saturday Sunday I walk for more than five kilometers to ten kilometers. I do that to ensure you know do that, and plus I know there are other uh, co activities which I do with my daughter. So my daughter sees she goes for horse riding. I go there, you know, spend time some time with them. So typically one is keeping yourself fit, and second having good uh, food. You know, I try to avoid junk food. I don't food you know uh, uh, eat outside food. I try to avoid sugar. Okay, so there are some good healthy practices which I have, but most important is good, you know, six to seven hours or eight hours sleep, which I try to take. Yeah. Okay. So, do you consume like uh, non vegetarian foods as well? No, I am a pure vegetarian. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Uh, but uh, that, and, and that's how I've been, you know. And what do you do in your like free time for your hobbies and? So uh, free time, uh, one is of course uh, I love cooking, you know. But and whenever I get time, uh, I try to cook something new. Uh, uh, just because I also feel that you know, cooking makes you creative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second is gardening is what you know I do. I have a lot of uh, you know uh, planters in my house, so I try to take care of them. You know, uh, that's also you know if you can take care of plants, and I believe that you can take care of anybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then finally, you know, uh, spend a lot of you know, good quality time with my family. Yeah. Amazing. Now coming to your professional career. Yeah. So what is Trade India to you? So uh, in simple words, if I have to talk about Trade India, uh, Trade India is a platform where we connect buyer and seller. You know, it's, it's a very, very simple process. Okay. Uh, but uh, technically, it's a marketplace okay, where you can come to our platform, you can search manufacturers, exporters, suppliers, traders, and wholesalers across 90,000 categories, okay? And you can connect with them. 80% of the companies who are listed on the platform are Indian MSMEs, and 20% are outside India, okay? So uh, we connect, you know, both importers, exporters, suppliers, sellers, buyers at one platform and help them grow their business. This is Trade India for everybody. What is for you, like Trade India for oh. you? For me, you know, uh, this is a great question, you know, uh, and um, if I have to be very true, you know, my wife, she says that Trade India is your first wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I have to explain you another way around, right? Of course, for me, it's it's everything for me, you know, because whatever I'm, whatever I'm today, uh, it's mm -hmm. just because of Trade India, you know, um, yeah. And I would like to say if there is a difference between blood and water. So I'm, my blood trained is something which is, oh. you know, uh, moving on. Yeah. Uh, it's very close to me. But more than that, you know, it's all about how uh, we are helping SMB ecosystem to grow. You know? Yeah, And that is what I see a very a big change we are bringing in terms of the SMB ecosystem. And we feel really good. And me personally, if I have to say that how we as the trade has grown, okay, uh, that defines uh, the kind of satisfaction we have got because of the growth we have given to SMBs in India. Okay? So, uh, yes, in simple words, Trade India is like, it's for me, like, breathe, and I'm breathing Trade India, eating Trade India, <laughs> sleeping Trade India, dreaming Trade India. Oh <laughs> it's all uh, uh, Trade India is okay. like that. For me. So, 20 yeah. years back, when you joined Trade India, so what was the position of your, in Trade India, what was the position of Trade India? And what was the position of actual e-commerce industry at that particular time? Okay. Great, interesting. If I have to speak about my journey, uh, I would like to say this is like a fairy tale journey. Okay. Know? So when I say fairy tale journey, I don't think uh, this kind of journey can happen to anybody else. Uh, no. But for me, it's like you know, I, if people they get surprised when I tell this that you know, I joined this company as a data entry operator. Okay, so from data entry operator 
to becoming the CEO of the organization, right? That is so I always, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, so I say uh, to everybody that, you know, from nowhere to, you know, uh, becoming the CEO of the organization, right? Uh, but uh, this is also a message to everybody that no job is small. You know? But what that data entry and the data, you know, moderation did for me is I got to know so many insights of about the MSME business in India. So I'll give you some example, like, you know, for me, because I was going through the data every day in and day out, I was able to understand where you get, you know, brass handicrafts. So Muradabad is popular for brass handicrafts. Where you get carpet. So, you know, today, Badoi is popular for carpet, right? Uh, artisan or nautical products, Rurki. So I used, I, you know, so if you ask me today, today, any categories, where you will find this product, I will be able to tell the city also. You know, if you want to buy t-shirts, you go to Tripur. Okay. Hojiri goods, you go to Ludhiana, you know sports or bat, you know, cricket bat and all, you go to Mirat or Lidiana. So, so that helped me to build the whole, you know, because e-commerce is all about categorization and product, right? Mm -hmm. That helped me to build the product of Trade India. And gradually from there, you know, I got promoted as site specialist, team leader, uh, you know, assistant manager. Then I was, you know, uh, it was like eight, 10 or 8 people team. When I joined this organization, for me specifically, I had only one people team, then grew that team to 10, 15, 20. Then I took care of the CRM team, then digital marketing team, and that's how the journey started. And in the last four and a half years, okay, I've been running the business. Yeah. That's so that's really helping my journey, you know. Yeah. yeah. Now coming to uh, the e-commerce part of it, right? So when I joined this company, it was hardly five thousand users. Okay, it was we we started as a print version of trading, you know, uh, exporter yellow pages. It was a transition which we are doing from uh, print version to online. Okay. Uh, it was uh, very difficult for us to explain SMEs also that, you know, business can be done online. Just imagine how we used to do business online. We had a platform, inquiry used to come to us. We used to send fax of that inquiry to these SMEs. Hey, you have received an inquiry, why didn't you reply using fax? Or we used to take the printout of the inquiry, we used to ask our sales team, go and visit that customer, give that printout and ask that customer to reply, you know. so. Uh, internet was just penetrating in India and people were just started adopting it. Whereas in you know, uh, you know, US or Europe, they've already started using emails and all. Yahoo was very popular at that time, you know. And then Radif started, you know, those email ID and Hotmail started, right? So we started educating them in terms of how online business can be done. And from this print version, we started moving their information of those companies online on tradeindia.com. But Previously, it was trade-india.com. So nearly two, three years, we run the whole business on trade-india.com. And after three years, we uh, took that domain, trade-india.com, and started hosting all our SMBs there. So it was become, it became very easy for US customers or other customers to just connect with, you know, the search on our platform and connect with them on emails, okay? But it was like, you know, uh, making them understand still we used to get lot of business on yellow pages only because they didn't realize that you know online business can be done okay uh, and it took us five ten years to solve that problem okay problem was there but to solve the problem it took us so much of time but gradually you know as the e-commerce started you know, you know platform like amazon or flipkart started coming in it became very very easy for us to make people also understand that business can be done online Okay, and pandemic was a blessing and disguise for us. Okay, why I say blessing and disguise because there was no offline business happening, sure. right? And if you are a manufacturer, there are only one, very few platforms in globally who can help you to grow your business online, and we are one of them, right? So just imagine in pandemic, uh, almost uh, we were at 4.5 million SMBs, you know, pre-pandemic and post-pandemic we are almost 10 million SMBs. Just imagine, it's like more than 100% growth in terms of users using our platform. Even we grew by almost 58% in terms of the, the traffic which we are getting on the platform and the leads which we are getting on the platform, okay. So we see that, you know, the e-commerce business in India is growing really fast. Why? Because we are one of the top, you know, internet users in the world, okay. Phone has become one of the large, you know, one of the device which helps to you to do business online these days, okay. And SMEs have started adopting digital, okay. So, there are some of the very 
good positive signs for uh, Indian, you know, um, digital ecosystem and Indian digital economy. Plus, there is a lot of push and support from government of India to this SMBs with this digital India, you know, initiative plus Atman Nirbhar Bharat initiative, and there are so many good initiatives which government of India is taking which is also contributing towards this success, not only for India, but for our platform like us also. You know. okay. So overall, the whole digital economy in India has a very, very bright future going forward. Absolutely. Now, uh, when we talk about the team management, right? As you said that when you joined, there were very less people, right? Yeah. And now, the what is it like total team strength? Uh, we are currently sitting at more than 2,000 plus, you know. 2,000, so come, like from 10, numbers of the team and now to 2000 is a huge achievement right for you and as you have started working from as a data entry operator and now as a CEO of a company who is having already 2000 plus team members right so that is a huge thing so now uh, if we'll talk about team management so how challenging it was for you to manage a team like because when you started it was somewhere around 10 only right yeah but then it growing and uh, now, like management, managing the, those that particular team is a tough challenge. Yeah, right? yeah. So, what was the main uh, key mantra which you have focused to manage them? So, uh, for me, I think I've never faced that much of challenge to build a team. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's just like managing a family. And if you can think that way, because how you manage a family, you know, there will be people uh, agreement, there will be disagreement. But we still stay together as a family in a house, right? It's exactly like that when you manage that team. You think that way, okay? So first thing is, as a leader, you should motivate your team, you know. Build the team. Second, give them solutions. Don't talk about only the problems. You know, the problem is, you know, when we see managers, they only discuss problems with the team members, you know. They never encourage them to, you know, uh, solve that problem. Third, I also have, in my team, I always encourage people to do mistakes, you know, because if you do mistakes, you will learn, right? Fourth important is, you know, leading from the front. You take that ownership of your team. It's not that, you know, sometimes it happens when a team, you know, within a team, if something is going wrong, you will pass on that ownership to the team. Because he have not done good, that's why my team failed. It's not about that. If the team is failing, it's your ownership, okay? And... Of course, um, I mean, these are some of the, I know, a, I know, uh, strategy which I use when building a team. But, you know, talking about the challenges, the challenges still is, you know, uh, that time was believing on the kind of solution and product which we are building, right? People are not aware of this. People thought that, is there any career in such kind of, uh, you know, a business or such kind of, you know, uh, company. So, th those challenges were there. Uh, um, of course, uh, but because of the digitization slowly and gradually, uh, uh, people have understood that uh, e-commerce is the way forward, okay? And and then it, was, it became very easy for us, you know, uh, to build a team. The most important thing uh, is we use a lot of analytics. I'll, I'll, this is very good insight. A lot of analytics to build a team, okay? So how I say analytics is, so for example, because we are a platform, right? So we saw that we are getting a lot of traffic coming from Mumbai, okay? So we thought, okay, it's very good to have a team in Mumbai, right? So a lot of traffic coming from Bangalore. So we started to you know, have our, our next office in Bangalore. So we used those analytics to build and build a branch and build team there in small, small regions. And that's how today as we speak, we have uh, you know branches in 41 cities in India. Amazing. Yeah. And what about out, out of India? Uh, currently, we don't have uh, any office in uh, okay. of India. But, but you're course, operating there? Yeah, we are operating there. Okay. Uh, we have a telesales team here, international mm -hmm. telesales team, who works on phone. Yeah. Okay. So, what is the basic difference which you have witnessed while working with millennials and Gen Zs? Uh, the basic difference is, you know, is the patience, right? Okay. Uh, Gen Zs is, if you see, uh, they want to grow fast. They want to earn money fast. Uh, they want to take shortcut, okay, and uh, they don't care about their you know stability at all. Okay, they feel that okay, hey, uh, if I'm working today here, uh, uh, maybe I can get better opportunity in another company. Let me just switch on, you know, yeah. Um, but they will not understand uh, the long-term strategy, you know, that how you can grow within the organization. Okay, uh, there will be 
difficult times. Yeah, they you there will be ups and downs. Success doesn't come easily, right? True. But if you work hard, and if you and you know, money comes automatically. If you, you know, once you go and you know on the top of the value chain, once you grow there, so if you are successful, this will come in, okay, and you can grow much faster, okay. But th- this is what I've seen specifically in the uh, you know uh, JNG uh, perspective, and that patience, you know, patience in the sense that maybe somebody might tell you something uh, for your betterment, they will say, okay, how can somebody you know talk about me like this, you know, how they can teach me because we know everything today. We know technology. We know how to use digital. No, we know better than you. Okay, uh, so that kind of thought process which is there, which I feel, I mean, I might be wrong to be very frank. Okay, uh, so uh, and 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 there is also a little bit of a, a difference in terms of how people used to respect, you know, uh, on the value chain. There is that respect is little bit what I see is a difference which comes in. Okay, uh, otherwise. Uh, of course, they have they are sharper right now. Uh, you know, I feel very fine, more sharper than mm. uh, the previous generation. Okay, uh, because the, today they have social media, they have an exposure to uh, YouTube, they have to exposure to so many uh, insights. Okay, but they also get distracted with so much of information they are getting today. So they they are not able to judge which information is right and which information is wrong. Okay, so. To consume the right information and right content for your growth so, is very very critical for them, and that is what the difference uh, I see you know today. Yeah. Well, so now talking about as we discussed that how different it is working with millennials versus Gen Zs, right? So similarly, like nowadays, a lot of Gen Zs are now coming up with new and you know very unique. ideas in terms of startups and everything right the startup culture is growing so fast even the government is supporting a lot so what are your views on that uh, this is a very uh, one of the best period right now for startup ecosystem in india and entrepreneurship <coughs> in india okay why i say this is you know it's not only about the government but the atmosphere in india is such that it's supporting everybody you know, mm-hmm. today you know you and me also don't sigh a web from Buying a product which a startup is pre- making it right, we do that. Why? Because we know that end of the day, it's about what kind of solution and the problems they are solving. Okay, and we try to support them whatever way possible. Okay, but I also feel that you know it's not about un- only about ideas. You know, today I was just listening to uh, somebody and he said a very, very, very interesting thing. Okay, and I'll just tell this in Hindi. He said that. संदीप यू नो सारे आइडियाज है ना जो इंडिया में जितने भी आइडियाज है वो सबसे अच्छे आइडियाज ना आपको कब्रस्तान में मिलेंगे एग्जीक्यूशन डजेंट हैपन राइट वो बंदा एग्जीक्यूट नहीं कर सकता तो स्टार्टअप के आइडियाज अगर आइडियाज होने से इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है तो एग्जीक्यूशन इज मोर क्रिटिकल टूडे So in the startup ecosystem, the problem today is, you know, they come with thousands and thousands of ideas, but ultimately, how many people are successful today? Very few, right? So sure. yeah, that one percent is successful. Why they successful? Because the execution is very, very critical. Okay, so that's why I tell my team also and all in all the startup ecosystem and some of the startups with whom I am mentoring, say that see, to minimum value product, man. Or with a good customer base, you know, go to that customer base with the product immediately, and so look at the traction first. वो problem पता चल जाएगा. उस problem पे काम करो. Work on those problems of that particular customer. Don't try to create a perfect product and reach out to the customer and then you fail. Quickly do it so that आपका आपका capex कम हो जाएगा, right? आपका product का cost कम होगा. Why don't you go out and actual Ask your customer to use that product, and build on top of it. Okay, so that is one small change. You know, a startup ecosystem system should look at. Second is, of course, there are a lot of uh, initiatives which you know uh, government is taking. Then there are a lot of investors, angel investors who are supporting this. You know, uh, uh, um, startup ecosystem to grow faster. Okay, uh, and of course, same thing goes with the startups also. There will be a little bit of patience which is required. You know, कभी कभी क्या होता है? Once you start seeing that failure, you become depressed. 
फेलियर से ना पीपल आर यू नो वेरी वेरी अफ्रेड ऑफ फेलियर मेरे को तो वो जो बंदे ने फेलियर नहीं देखा ना आई फील अफ्रेड ऑफ दैट बिकॉज यू हैव नॉट सीन फेलियर यू ऑलवेज सीन सक्सेस दैट इमेजिन द डे ही विल सी फेलियर वॉट विल हैपन टू यू डेफिनेटली राइट सो डोंट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ फेलियर इफ यू हैव थर्ड दैट यू नो पैशन एंड थॉट कि नहीं ये प्रोडक्ट विच आई बिल्ड इट विल वर्क इफ यू बिलीव ऑन दैट जस्ट वर्क ऑन दैट जस्ट वर्क ऑन इट Try to see how you can make it better. Plus one, plus one. How can you do it? Okay, and have patience. Typically, if you have been seen that you know, for a product to be successful, it least, at least it will take a cycle of two years to three years minimum. Mm-hmm. Okay, have that patience. Don't give up. Okay, so we can see people they give up so early, you know, that they are not going to go. I'll let me work on plan B, plan C, plan D. No, don't do that. Yeah. Okay, so, just like we have talked about failure, so. If we'll talk about you, so what kind of failure which you have faced, and oh. how you dealt with it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so see, uh, because I come uh, uh, come from a uh, uh, product and a technology background. Okay, but before that, uh, I was I didn't thought that I will you know uh, work for a technology company. Right, uh, my first passion that I will join army. Okay, and. Uh, and then uh, i gave uh, this ups exams you know for you know six days so many times i passed those exams written examination i went for interview i went for interview so many times and finally you know i was getting rejected every time you know after a lot of interviews final day rejection and you feel very bad you know and it's a very very depressing thing True. that you go <laughs> you clear all the exams and final day the result aane hota you come to know that you are you know not, not selected, selected. And and one day you know I, I was I think this examination used to happen you know interview used to happen in Allahabad most of the time and I was sitting in Allahabad station and thinking इतने बार तो reject हो गए so do you think this is the right career for you mm. okay and after that you know I came back and and that the whole day I was just you know I was sitting in a hostel very silently I told my friend don't disturb me I'm really not I'm very low okay and started you know doing some realization that so what are you good at you know, ask yourself that what are you good at you know and can you can you think backwards okay and then i i still realize that okay i did my physics honors i did you know uh, this uh, post graduate diploma in electronic commerce so on and so forth and then uh, finally um, you are you know you are still applying for you know uh, uh, you know cds yeah mm-hmm. and then i thought that okay if i'm good at com- computers let me focus on this okay so how so, do you feel now like, so I, i thought that that rejection was good for me true so <laughs> right? how do you to take a good decision for you which yeah. because of which you are here yeah. right so uh, that's what i say everybody that you think what are you good at don't feel peer pressure don't feel your peer pressure from from the society from your family you know don't feel that who has done what because my friends were all in army so people and you know, everybody pushed me that you should always go for you know army and that was my passion because when you are in friends right then you i realized that okay my passion is computers let me just follow my passion and and, and today i am here you know but coming back to what this this is the rejection <laughs> which i felt and i overcome this with uh, the thought process asking my you know self those questions you know that and then overcoming those failures you mm-hmm. know which was taking me to a different negative zone altogether yeah. true so when we talk about msmes and e-commerce industry right so obviously like post pandemic also it evolved uh, it evolved when internet came into india and 2000 after 2016 as well yeah kyunki uh, jaise 2000 after jio launch in india kafi tezi se sari cheeze badli in terms of internet and in yep, terms yep. of digitalization right so as you said that you work on analytics part right yep. so if we'll talk about the next 5 years so as per your analytics because whatever we do as a, in a data analytics part we generally as like uh, see that what kind of results which we got yep. in past right so as per your observation what do you think the future of uh, msmes and the future of e-commerce industries for like next 5 years or some okay. sometimes uh, so i'll really be give you background of msme ecosystem mm-hmm. in india you know today mm-hmm. okay if you see 
33% of the GDP of you know, India is mm -hmm. contributed by MSMEs of India. Okay, that's it's a big contribution. In fact, more than 100 million jobs which you know MSME is giving today. Okay, out of this 33 uh, uh, you know, percent in the GDP contribution which is giving, we have around 63 million MSMEs in India. Okay, out of this 63 million SMEs. 63% are in service industry and the rest 37 percent is that in manufacturing industry okay and almost nearly I would say you know 40 41 percent of these MSMEs are digitally connected when I say digitally connected either they are online or they have a digital presence or they are in social media or so on and so forth okay so this is how the MSME ecosystem is today now how many uh, are you know uh, growing in terms of the you know uh, e-commerce uh, per se. Now, if you see, have to give our data first. You know, as I said, that we have grown almost hundred percent PN post uh, pandemic. Okay, plus the seller base, seller base have increased nearly almost you know uh, forty to forty three percent in Trade India itself. Okay, now. Uh, the future of e-commerce in India. Okay, there is the future is great. Why am I saying future is great? Because lot of um, uh, technology which is being built across this ecosystem, you know, or within this ecosystem. So one is you now, for example, uh, the UPI was one of the turning point for India, right? Today, if you see after demonetization, right, people thought that nobody will use. You know, there will be lot of challenge. Nobody will online payment today. I don't think, I don't remember I carry my purse when I go outside. True that. Right? Yeah. People forget to bring yeah. and, and you don't worry about it, right? I don't have your purse also. You don't worry about it. You have a it's mobile, uh, battery is there, internet is there, you are done. Similarly, ONDC will be the next big thing in India. Okay. True. So ONDC will enable small shops, restaurant owners, all the SMBs to be digitally shaksham. So uh, we, our vision is also to become we, to make the SMS digital instruction, but only ONDC will give them more power. Okay, and of course we are working with closely with ONDC to build that eco ecosystem also for the MSMEs in India. Okay, so by in the next five years, uh, I see on more than three x growth in terms of the the kind of uh, business and the kind of you know the vision you know. Uh, Prime Minister Modi has or India has like 5 trillion economy, you know, this digital will play a very big role, you know, in this kind of, you know, uh, 5 trillion economy specifically, okay. Um, but of course, um, this e-commerce business, you know, will be more uh, vernacular. So I'll talk about this three V's, you know, so three V's of the, so it will be become more vernacular, so more regional, okay. Second, it will be more, you know, video. So people will have more consume more video content or more you know, e-commerce will have more video as a content to uh, you know, uh, close those uh, conversions happening. Third is the voice. So voice will play a big role you know, uh, in this uh, e-commerce ecosystem. You know? So technology will play a big role. And of course, JNAI coming in. So I think a lot of you know, automation which will happen, which will help us this ecosystem to grow maybe to 3x or 5x in next five years. Yeah. Okay. So जो रूरल एरियाज की अगर हम बात करें तो कहीं ना कहीं इतनी डिजिटलाइजेशन होने के बावजूद भी एक जो एक पॉइंट है ना जो उन्हें एक ट्रस्ट इश्यूज रहता है कि वी शुड गो ऑनलाइन वी शुड यूज दैट और नॉट इट्स कॉस्टली क्योंकि उन्हें लगता है कि अगर हम ऑनलाइन जा रहे हैं तो ऑटोमेटिक रेट विल इंक्रीज माई कॉस्ट तो इस तरीके की परसेप्शन अभी कहीं ना कहीं रूरल एरियाज में भी और स्मॉल बिजनेस ओनर्स इवन इन दिस एरिया ऑल्सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट तो यहाँ पर भी लोगों को लगता है जो स्मॉल बिजनेस ओनर्स हैं तो दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो ऑनलाइन राइट क्योंकि उन्हें कॉस्ट बचाना होता है तो वॉट आर द थिंग्स विच यू वुड लाइक टू एड जिससे हम उन्हें लगे कि नहीं ये चीज़ ऑनलाइन हमें जाना चाहिए एंड इन विच वी कैन एड सम वैल्यू टूवर्ड्स देयर ट्रस्ट पार्ट सो हमें भी पहले तो फर्स्ट थिंग सी दैट वाई दे आर नॉट गोइंग ऑनलाइन वन इज ऑफकोर्स द कॉस्ट पार्ट ऑफ Right, uh, they feel that going to be online it's a cost. Okay, so for online, what is it required? One is a domain name, which might not cost them anything between five hundred to thousand rupees for a year. Second, is 
to build a trust you know to build a trust what you required is email id you know corporate email id in fact we received lot of emails from outside india's you know importers they said that his uh, trade india team we have seen that this supplier has a gmail id or a yahoo id they don't have a corporate id so can you help us identify this sellers you know so and so forth so we say that okay to build a trust take a domain name and take a corporate email id you know it can be anything as sales at the rate you know sandeep.com so you know like that so that helps you to build the trust Sec- third is to build that website within a domain will not cost you anything between you know maybe it depends in it might cost you uh, 10000 20000 30000 not more than that okay so just to create a one page might not you know cost you much okay and finally what your domain does what is you know a website does is you know and is it's like we say, you know, like Prime Minister says that Prime Minister says that you have to be vocal to local. But just like your website goes out, you become from vocal to local, you become local to global because your website can open globally, right? Sure. And buyer can come from anywhere uh, and connect with you. So it will be, you know, if you are a traditional businessman who is, you know, have already has a lot of buyers with you. But just imagine that because this online. And today, everybody is digitally connected. This online will help you to increase your buyer base, you know, and which will help you to grow your business faster. Okay, that's one. Second, coming to the trust issue, right? Trust issue, tabhi to humare jaise platform, uh, tradeindia.com jaise platform, they get connected. Because today, as we, you and me also buy from platform like Amazon or Flipkart or Mintra, do we know who are the sellers? No. No, why? Because we trust Flipkart. You, you trust Flipkart, right? True. That is the power we as a platform bring in. If a seller has a website and they get listed on Trade India, we bring we give that trust immediately to a buyer that hey, this company is listed on Trade, Trade India. India. He's a trusted company. That's fine. Okay. So that is one way to look at trust. And because Trade India is being visited by so many people every day, so you get that exposure immediately. Yeah. So that is one challenge which I see from smaller smaller cities that they feel that it's a cost and who will maintain that and because to maintain it because they don't have that technology know-how to maintain their website and all okay so they should also always get associated with some agency or any companies who can help them with that okay or maybe trade india uh, you know, say, yeah. so these are few of the things which i have we have which i have noticed you know why small cities they don't want to come online because of the technology challenges they feel you know which will help which might uh, which, has, which has a cost to uh, it, you know. Yeah. True. So now, in terms of MSME, this uh, is trust case shows the or a lot of sellers bhi hai, jine lagta hai, Let's suppose if I am sitting in this particular area, so I have enough number of customers, and I don't want to get online. So what are the things which you would like to add on that? See, uh, online <coughs> helps them to beat the competition mm-hmm. and reach out to more buyers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when I say big to uh, big the competition, because today, what is the first thing we do if we want to buy something? I'll just go online yeah, and check. You just search, right? And when you are searching, if you are not present, you are losing that buyer. True. As simple as that. Okay, either you will search. If you go to any social media pages, you will see whether this company exists or not. Okay, or we will go to uh, different directories to search and. Mm-hmm. So first, uh, first mover advantage or first advantage, so you are losing then and there and you are not online. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and today there are a lot of other ecosystem, you know, if you see today, uh, most of the businesses is happening on WhatsApp, right? And why WhatsApp? Because WhatsApp is one of the most used communication and conversation application today. Right? In fact, if you don't digitally online website, bhi nahi banate na, at least use WhatsApp a business API. Okay? And catalogs you can put Yeah, there. you can create a WhatsApp catalog. Okay. Uh, today, we and Meta, uh, no, Trading and Meta have wo- built something called WhatsApp Commons. The WhatsApp Commons is a very interesting product. Okay. What this does is, you know, you just have to have a, one number. And once you have a number, you can automatically create a WhatsApp catalog. Second, you can, can you know, send broadcast to your a contact base you know and that uh, as as many as possible third you can create a whatsapp chatbot okay and you can create the journey yourself you can give a buyer buyer a journey you can create all the journeys what are the products price and in fact you can take the payment from then and there okay so 
at least be digital use whatsapp as uh, whatsapp commerce you know because whatsapp done lot of good innovations today and what it does is you know today you and me also don't want to take lot of phone calls right true we say that okay does whatsapp me what whatsapp become a verb right today so small businesses at least adopt any one of them it's not only um, e- you know uh, domain website at least they adopt this technologies yeah which will help them to have you know connect with more buyers and also increase their buyer funnel yeah. Yeah. and one what message would you like to give to the msmes so uh, for msmes of course uh, one is uh, just think about digital first approach you know digitally is uh, now is no more a second line of business it will be your first line of business because today your buyers are online if you are not online then you will be losing lot of business you know against your competition because your competition will be far ahead use all the technologies which is there to make your operations digitally transform okay and third most important is invest on digital assets thank you so much it was amazing talking to you and i hope you enjoyed the talk thank you sambhavi it was great interacting with you and i hope you know uh people can take a lot of messages from this podcast absolutely yeah. thank you so much thank you thank you sambhavi